Hey there guys, so here we are. So I'm going to start with the uh, Space Wolf uh, upgrades. So as you can see, you get a slight picture of all the bits and pieces you can do and all that. So, <laughs> um, so just to obviously take a look, you've got your, uh, it comes with one sprue of uh, all bits and pieces. So. Uh, so you get all. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you get ten shoulder pads. So enough to do a tactical squad, or in this case, it'll be a pack unit of, say, grey hunters or uh, blood claws. And uh, just to get in on this, so as you can see, they've all got the uh, wolf head symbol on them, uh, but the detail in some of the um, actual shoulder pads is really pretty uh, like the uh, Nordic runes or the Fenrisian runes I should say uh, obviously etched in as well uh, really nice bits of Space Wolf iconography uh, and that's quite cool pour up on the top so like I say you get 10 really nicely detailed um, shoulder pads to go. Uh, you've also got the new uh, snarling wolf helm as well, which I think looks quite cool. And you could do some really uh, like cool, I suppose, looking uh, wolf priest or wolf lord with that. Uh, I mean, you've even got the backpack to go with it as well, so you can have it like a matching pair. Uh, I think that's a recast of the. Um, the wolf cloak, uh, but I think it's it looks a bit better and a bit cleaner as well. Not so uh, kind of stiff, I think. Uh, well, ah, there, yes, the new uh, detailed chainsword. Now, uh, anyone who knows space wolves will know that you can do uh, rag. You could pot you could potentially do a Ragnar Black Main conversion out of this. Uh, considering that is effectively, um, uh, I'm sure it's yeah, it's Frostblade, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so you've got that, and obviously you have bits to go on the backpack. Uh, you've also got the uh, Frost Axe as well, which looks really, really nice. Especially considering it's a uh, single handed frost axe as well. So it's something uh, you don't get in uh, any of the actual box sets. Uh, but there again, none of this is apart from that. But <laughs> and then uh, you get the uh, flesh head as well, which looks really, really nice. And I love the movement in the hair as well, with the all sort of brushed down to one side. So that's the Space Wolf one. Very nice. Uh, now on to uh, the Blood Angel one. So same again before, obviously. Uh, you've got like a short, well, a few ideas of what you can do, what's in the box, and all that jazz. So what you actually get is, same again, so you get 10... 10 detailed shoulder pads, uh, you get one death mask helm, uh, you get a helm, You get two helmet heads, one flesh head, uh, a goblet, and uh, bat bits and knives and two torsos and all that. So, uh, just to take a quick look at uh, this bit, if it's the one I... So you've got the uh, torsoed chest piece for sergeants or captains and things like that, or even sanguinary guard if you're looking for something a bit different. Uh, if we flip it around this way, you've also got this one, which looks really, really nice because uh, it's got the uh, that kind of muscle fibred texture to it. So, uh, got some interesting ideas for that. Uh, you've then also got the 
uh, shoulder pads which this one I absolutely love because it's a bit different because it's actually got San Anguinius, uh inscribed into the and I love when GW does stuff like this with like uh, grey knights and things like that cause it really shows what kind of small detail they can do with them in it with their plastic bits and pieces uh, so then you've also got your uh, skull wi uh, wing skull with the blood drop on the top you've got the uh, more goblets and arches and uh, some other nice bits and pieces as well with some really nice framing on them uh, ceremonial dagger the helmeted head there which has actually got the blood angel symbol on it which I've only just noticed <laughs> that's cool I like that uh, oh yeah then the goblet now this is something that if I was going to do another sanguinary priest uh, this would be the mo this is what I was what I'd use instead of the um, scald goblet that comes with the actual sanguinary priest uh, just due to the fact that uh, if you go by Blood Angel Fluff, you'll know that the only proper scald goblet that's meant to be in the chapter belongs to um, Cor uh, Corbulo, which is why I built mine uh, in mind of having it and using it as Corbulo. And with this, I can possibly now pick up another one, stick a helmet on it, and change the goblet as well, and possibly the weapon in his other hand, giving me a single different uh, sanguinary priest uh, so on <laughs> uh, so then uh, you've got the death mask which um, would be great if you're looking at doing Dante conversions and things like that that would work really nicely because uh, that's not actually in the sanguinary guard uh, box uh, obviously the the actual mask is but the arch on the top uh, is has actually got blood drip cutouts as well and things like that so if you're looking to do uh, say plastic Dante conversion or even to do a chapter master for uh, something then that would work really nicely and there is a flesh at some other so then you've got I suppose your standard Captain Sergeant Helmet with the uh, laurels at the top, uh, three blood drips on there, uh, double vented or double pipe vents as well, and then you've got this absolutely beautiful looking flesh head. Before I knock the camera over, Stand. there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. So the thing with this is, it's actually wearing a crown with a blood drip in the middle of it. So it's a really nicely detailed piece, really uh, you know defined cheeks, cheekbones, things like that that you can really make out. So like I say, overall it is a really good bit of kit. Right, uh, and just quickly, just because I think I have a bit of time left, uh, going to check this out. So remove the cover. So this is uh, effectively, I believe it's an A4 sheet uh, of really nicely done uh, transfers. Now as you can see it is absolutely chocolate full and uh, the difference with these ones is that they are like properly cut right up along the edge, uh, if I can just try it, there you go. So as you can see uh, with this, say, take the blood angel symbol here. Uh, you can, you, there's no over of uh, the transfer stuff, so that should make it a bit easier to bend round. It's also um, a bit easier to work with as well. Uh, but I mean, the the stuff on this is ridiculous. I mean, uh, I only just noticed these, uh, but they're actually screens for your Auspex um, scanners, which have actually got the radar blips on them and things like that. Uh, you've also got these as well, which are uh, is like a gold tinted um, transfers as well, uh, and they're everywhere. Uh, First Company Veterans, 
Uh, you've got your squad markings for knee pads, all here, and uh, campaigns, vehicles, terminators. Uh, it's just, um, and then you got the. These are what I'm interested in as well, uh, and this is probably what I'll do the tutorial on, which is the banner ones, because these look absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, they're the three, uh, like of Sanguinius's three most famous banners that he had during uh, his reign, and they're meant to be sacred uh, to uh, the obviously the companies. Uh, so I'd, uh, I'm going to have to do a bit more research because I can't quite remember the uh, the order in which they are. But I think it, I believe it's first, second, and third. But I'll have to check that. Uh, and then you've also got the in the actual angel bit as well as a separate thing, so you can put them on vehicles. So if you've got your captain of that certain company, you can put them on vehicles and things like that. Uh, you then have vehicle bits and pieces as well, uh, death company. Uh, logos, these things which I believe for the top of Land Raiders as well as the uh, parchment scribe on the inlays uh, you, you get quite a few of them uh, you get Librarian uh, that's third company a bit more <laughs> so like I say the transfer sheet is phenomenal and I'll do a proper tutorial on that another time uh, but there you go guys, uh, it's a bit of a long vid and uh, just to really show off some of the new bits and pieces. Uh, like I say, uh, if you're into any of obviously these armies, because you've also got uh, Dark Angels and Ultramine upgrade sprues which look really really nice as well, I definitely recommend getting these. Uh, as well as the transfer sheets as well, because I know Ultramarines are on there and I can't remember the other one. But definitely check those out. They're, they look well worth the price. And I'll do a proper tutorial and uh, review once I've used a few of them. And stuff like that. So thank you very much guys. Uh, stay safe. Catch you again next time. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, uh, messages and comments. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if there's any questions you want to ask, just drop them down in the comments below. Or drop us a message over on the Facebook page. And I'll get an answer back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and catch you next time. Cheers.